historically, they, we had uh, big issues with the pitch. Uh, the opening in the roof, we have a refractable roof. It's uh, the same size as the pitch, 55 meters up, meaning that we don't get any sunlight on parts of the, of the, of the pitch. Through seven years back, and, and the schedule has been quite a lot, uh, event, games, event, games, and so on. And, and, uh, and also the lack of um, those uh, lights, uh, replacement and so on, it has been a cha challenge for us to, to maintain a good quality of turf. The challenge in here is the event schedule, uh, lots of games, lots of training sessions. And in, together with that we have the, the poor light and, and uh, wind conditions and like all of the stadium, but I think here it's quite bad. But we know and we knew that the, the, the light was the, the, the biggest factor for us. We need to do something to get the grass to grow. When we took the grass in, it started to die. So we had to re-turf. Uh, and we needed to find a solution for the grass not to die. We think this is the future. We see the future of uh, the spectrum, using the right spectrum for the grass. So we'd made a lot of testing um, and then we ended up to have a, um, a testing of seven uh, uh, rigs coming down to two rigs now. And now we're looking at, uh, at, uh, at SKL units all over the pitch, which the result have been fantastic so far. Before we had these uh, units, we, we saw that uh, we established a new pitch and it started to slowly fade away. The, the grass was going away, you have more clay uh, and, uh, and thatch and uh, sometimes there were also some kind of fungus on the pitch. But now uh, we can see that we, when we overseed it, the new grass is established. The thickness of the, the leaf is wider, it grows. The quality of the grass, I think that's, that's, that's what this is about. Generally I can say that, that uh, the issues that we've had trying to ma maintain a, dry, a dying pitch has changed to maintaining a, a pitch that, that lives a lot. Uh, and uh, my groundsmen, they, they presented me with a, with, with a problem actually last week, since the grass go, grows too much. Uh, so that's the problem we have today, but I think it's a quite pleasant problem. Regarding the pitch quality, it's a, a huge difference. Before, uh, we have a schedule for four to five weeks, a window that the, that the pitch will survive during the, the heavy training and, uh, and on the games, uh, and also the sessions between uh, events. Now it's quite easy, and not, I would say very easy. You, you can't compare it, it's impossible. Even now, when it's raining outside, if this would be one year ago, I directly would have stopped into you and said, we need to close the roof. Now I'm thinking, like, wow, fantastic, then I don't have to irrigate. The pitch we have now, it's, uh, it's, it's never been this good. Uh, so it's, uh, it's uncomparable. Right now, we theoretically don't think we have to be turf at all. We will test the, the, um, the rigs for one year. Uh, we need to take them through spring, uh, summer and fall, and a little bit of winter time. And, and we will try to uh, see what happened through those, those um, period of time. Uh, so far we have during the spring, so far very happy, very uh, have been a success. And we feel it's going to be a success for further on. They um, have said it's fantastic. The, this one actually, they say it's the best pitch ever uh, was in France Arena, which is very fun to hear and nice to hear. That's the, the work is paid off, uh, what you're doing. And, uh, and it has been a very good first uh, half year uh, in France Arena regarding the, the, the feedback we get from the players. The, the most important for me is that when the players come, come to the stadium, they know what they are facing. So if they are facing a different quality every time, they also have to think about it when they play. They shouldn't, they should think about their, how the strategy to play, not about the turf quality or how the, the turf quality will affect the play. We have, uh, of course, the turf pods uh, installed, uh, which is our main data collection with day to day. But then every, every week we try to do the Klaghammer, the, the traction, we do a deeper uh, moisture level check. Using the portal, we, uh, it's more or less 
checking the turf in the beginning of the, the morning and the, in the afternoon how it's, all the values are. So for me, that has been uh, uh, very helpful. What we have now is we have, uh, basically we have three strategical uh, sub-goals, so to say. It's, uh, it's safety and security, uh, it's uh, connectivity and it's sustainability. Uh, so this definitely part falls on the sustainability part, uh, since we can, again, like we return less, less trucks, less work. The electricity cost generally is much, much lower than uh, to drive. Uh, the rigs is lower than, than returfing, so it's, uh, it's really a win-win for everybody. Returfing, it, it costs money and it, it costs in transport, so the less returfing we can do and the more we can grow inside, it's, it's, it's better. So far I have, I have only positive thing to say. I know I can call in the middle of the night and I know I get an answer. Uh, the support regarding if it's some, some small issues uh, say, uh, directly helping me around it one. Uh, and the support, I can say it's, it has been very good. We sit together and we're talking about maintenance uh, in overall. Uh, then we go down to like how many meter, uh, millimeters uh, rain, how much millimeters of uh, cutting, how do we apply, which fertilizing do we should use which seed uh, do we need to vert the drain or do maybe brush it up. Those typical things that it's a groundsman work. Uh, and, and for me it's good to have an other opinion uh, because you get a little bit blind when you are in home. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and for, for me that's been helpful a lot uh, for this one. You guys not only provided uh, the technology but you also provided uh, uh, staff here to come and join us. I think they're here once every four weeks uh, and doing tests and, and together with us uh, ensuring that it works like we think it should.